Good morning. It's 6 a.m. in Singapore and Hong Kong, 8 a.m. here in Sydney. Here are your headlines this Monday morning. The head of the consortium bidding for Qantas sees friendly skies ahead, expressing confidence that in the end, the biggest airline takeover in history will go through. Australian regulators begin a closely watched case against Citigroup, accusing the US investment bank of a conflict of interest while advising on a multi-billion dollar deal. And a CNBC exclusive. Australian Prime Minister John Howard joins us live. We will get his outlook for the economy, his latest thoughts on that Qantas takeover and see what he thinks of his chances in the upcoming election. Good morning, I'm Geoffrey James and a very warm welcome to this very first edition of Squawk Australia coming to you live from Sydney. Indeed, a closely watched story here in Australia. The consortium bidding for Qantas remains confident this morning. The head of Airline Partners Australia says the fact that one institutional shareholder has declined the offer in no way deters them from successfully completing the transaction. In a statement, Bob Mansfield said the overwhelming majority of shareholders support the deal. This comes after balanced equity management, which holds a 4% stake in the carrier, confirmed on Friday it will not accept the offer at $5.45 a share. Investors are keeping close watch on UBS Global Asset Management. UBS has a 7.1% stake in Qantas and has not yet committed to the bid, which has a 90% minimum acceptance condition. Qantas shares will begin trading at 5.06 this morning after slipping 16 cents on Friday. Today, here in Sydney, regulators are set to begin an insider trading case against Citigroup. They charged the US investment bank traded shares in a company it knew was a takeover target two years ago. The case is expected to be watched closely as it deals with how investment banks separate their trading and their mergers and acquisitions businesses. Authorities allege a brief conversation on a Sydney street led a Citigroup trader to believe his firm was involved in the takeover of the firm Patrick by rival Toll Holdings, a deal worth 6.3 billion Aussie dollars or 5.1 US. Citigroup has rejected the charges.